Welcome to Superior Profit Monday morning Monday morning meet live 360 degree analysis and QA using Q systems. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit. I will not take time to introduce myself as usual. If you are interested, you may look up the detail about the company, myself, and how it may help in your trading in our website, superiorprofit.co, and then going to the about page. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. This session is different from the weekly market roundup video. This is meant for demonstration of top-down, bottom-up and inside-based identification of trade opportunities and Q&A. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We are going to look at the global markets using the market indices for Australia, China, Hong Kong, India, and UK. Then today we will run bottom up analysis using Q scans and Q radar on trade station. The market is very bearish. It may not be the right time to start buying stocks. We'll run the scans to look for short opportunities, which may also be difficult because the market is oversold, but I'm sure we'll find some. And we may look for some stocks that are hitting support. If the market goes up, of which there is no indication whatsoever, then these stocks at support may give us buying opportunities. I will use Q Global on Metastock as well as Q Elite on Trade Station to demonstrate this bottom up and maybe we'll do some top down analysis also. You may use one or both. Most of Q traders use either Q Global or Q Elite. I will interchange between these two systems to use different features that we have. Let's start by looking at the global markets. For global market study, I am using Q Global on Metastock. We are opening the indices using our default at a glance template, that is the weekly and daily template. All the Q system templates are visually distinct so that we can look at the template and decide what the template is. We don't have any label of the template or any label of the indicators. The indicators don't have any threshold, any parameter, etc. This is AXJO, Australian index. At the very top, it displayed the unique Q reversal signal, possible reversal signal. From there, the market dropped heavily. Interestingly, today, the week is not over yet. On the left-hand side is the weekly backdrop template on the right hand side is the daily hop on template. The weekly candle is not complete, but as of today's close, Monday's close, Australia market is closed now. We have a possible reversal signal, bullish reversal signal. In the daily chart, Australian index is clearly in downtrend. It has a bullish shape candle today. There is no long trade setup right now. If it can break out of this memory resistance, the automatically drawn smart trend line, then we may look for long opportunities in the Australia market. Let's look at China, CSI 300.
in the weekly chart it is in clear downtrend as i mentioned in the last monday morning meet also unless we break out of this memory resistance lines we are not going to look for any long trade here it is very bearish hong kong dot hsi hang seng index i typed it wrong there dot hsi here the weekly chart is inside a triangle pattern bound by resistance memories at the top and support memory at the bottom the trend is not clear we have to see whether it breaks out to the upside or downside before taking any trade in the daily also we have multiple triangle patterns some wide triangle pattern formed by the wider support resistance levels and narrow triangle pattern we have no clear direction in the hang seng index india's nifty index typing error again dot n s e i in the last monday morning meet i discussed that this was the strongest of the global indices that we were observing the weekly candle colors were cyan in the daily chart it went to the watermark resistance level at which point the possible reversal signal the bearish headwind had come earlier that headwind could lead to a sharp downfall one thing i keep on discussing that if we have a bearish headwind that can lead to price drop when price comes back to the same level some more selling may still be left based on that insight we could start looking for shorting opportunities at the top this candle was green candle that is the traffic light candle color in the daily chart green that is bullish so we were not going to short on that day next day was also bullish this day was magenta that is one day before we could start looking for short trades there last friday's candle ended being a very bearish shape long solid candle it was probably a bit late to short at the close of last friday those who were using the real time fine tune chart that is the template we use for day trade entry or precise entry of swing trading they might be able to enter the short somewhere in the middle of the candle put stop just above the recent high for swing trading and as price drop today monday they could book partial profit let's look at the fine tune chart to see if on friday there was indeed a low risk short opportunity i have set up everything on the menu bar for q global on meta stock so i can choose the fine tune template from the menu bar this is the fine tune template that we use for day trade entry or precise swing trade entry opportunity every day the pivot lines and the memory trend lines are drawn automatically on friday early range high and early range low formed after market open we were only looking for shorting opportunities because in the daily chart it came to the level where bearish headwind could push price down and it had a watermark resistance at that level based on that direction when price went below the early range low we would short at this price level putting stop just above the early range high that is the day's high using fine tune 5 minute chart this template we use either using 5 minutes or 10 minutes if we are using it in the morning session we tend to use with 5 minute interval if we are using it in the afternoon session we prefer it to slow down little bit and we use the 10 minute interval 
on Friday, the entry price would be here. And as price came down, it started forming other pivot levels, pause lines. By that time, more than risk distance was covered. A day trader would book partial profit. A swing trader would use the same technique to make a precise entry and would continue to hold the trade overnight to the price fell further. By today, the trade had more reward than the risk taken on the daily chart. So the swing trader would also book partial profit by today. Nifty index of India was bullish, but now it is starting to turn down. The last global index that we would study is the food FTAC, the UK index, FTSE. In the weekly chart, it is in a downtrend. In the daily also, it is in a downtrend. We can decide downtrend in many different ways. The standard way is to see if, of course, price is falling down, that is downtrend. Technically, if it has higher, not higher, technically, if it has lower high and lower low, then also it is in a downtrend. So it has lower high here, lower low here. That also shows this is in downtrend. Another way we can use is if we see there are memory resistance lines, but no memory support line. Then also we know that it is in downtrend. In the weekly also, we have only memory resistance line, no support line. If both support and resistance memories are present, then we would know that it is in a triangle formation that is in a sideways move. That will alert us not to take directional trades, at least not trend following directional trades. We studied multiple global indices, Australia, China, Hong Kong, India, and UK. All of them are in downtrend. India is the only one that was stronger, but it started dropping from Friday. So as of today, none of the global indices are strong enough to look for buying opportunities. We look at the USA futures later, just before we close. So it will, we'll have some more time to see how the futures are playing out. Let me now use the Q systems to do bottom up analysis. Let me start with Q global. The USA market has dropped a lot. Some people are thinking of looking for buying opportunities. Because the market has dropped, it is unlikely that we will find many trend following buying opportunities. There are many people who prefer to wait for trend following trades and we can locate those also using Q systems. But we also are able to find contrarian trade setups. Technically speaking, contrarian setups, we in fact has three trade setups that are reversal trades. If we go to our website under education entry checklist, we have listed the four possible market conditions. One is trending. In the trending market, when the stock is going up or down with higher high or higher low, higher high, higher low or lower high, lower low, uptrend or downtrend, then we take trend following trade. But the other three trade setups we have cater to reversal trades. One is in a reversing market where we use the unique headwind reversal signal to take reversal trades. In sideways market, we try to catch the bottom or the top of the sideways range that is using the box trade setup. And in exhausting market where a stock has dropped suddenly and sharply, maybe because of earnings disappointment, and it has hit support and is starting to go up. If all those conditions are true, we can take very low risk, bounce long opportunities in exhausting markets. The bounce long trades could be taken using stock long position or you could take it using short put vertical as well. 
if the option volatility is high, which is usually true when a stock drops suddenly, then short put verticals may give us extra edge because if the stock goes up, we benefit from the delta move as well as from the volatility crash. So we have four market conditions identified in Q systems. Out of them, three allows us, out of them, three allow us to take reversal trades and one in trend following trade. Because the market is down a lot, we may not find many trend following buying opportunities. We may look for reversal buying opportunities. One way to look for them is to find stocks that are hitting long-term support. That is the weekly memory trend line, the automatically drawn smart trend line support. We can run the scan for weekly memory trend line touch up. This may not be going up yet, but it has touched a memory support line and that memory is in the weekly chart. Let's run this scan. I will run it in Q Global on Metastock. I go to explore. We have 44 explorers or scans. Out of them, about 12 look for straightforward trading opportunities. Doesn't look for indicator values because remember our indicators don't even have any threshold. So we don't look for indicator values going up above some threshold or below some threshold. Instead, we have the scans for finding trade setups. One is the breakout down, breaking below support, breakout up, breaking above resistance, or the exhausting market conditions, bounce setup, sideways, or double bottom, long trade setup, box setup, and trend following setup for long go with flow. We also have the reversal trade setups using the headwind signal, that is long headwind. Then we have the same scans for the short direction, bearish direction, bounce box, go with flow, headwind. We can, learn, we can run the scan to see which stocks, let me clear this, which stocks are touching weekly memory. Let me run it on the S&P 500 stocks and I will choose the interval as weekly. It is going to go through all the stocks and find out which one of them are hitting long-term support, that is weekly memory trend line support. I don't have any data stored on my computer. It is going to the Thomson Reuters system. Metastock data provider is Thomson Reuters. So it is going to Thomson Reuters, getting the data and calculating everything on the 1,500 stocks. While it is running, let me explain some more on the scanners. We have a number of scans that look for trade setups. The bounce box, headwind, go with flow, breakout, etc. And then we have many other because we have total 44 scans in Q Global. Those can be used to create something that you have in mind. Later on, we'll try to combine the scans that we have to create something meaningful. For example, we may look for trend following short opportunities in stocks that are in clear downtrend. In fact, I have run that already during the weekend, 21st December today. I have already created the list, but I will demonstrate how I created this list. Meanwhile, the scan for memory touch up on weekly interval is complete from 1500 stocks. We are now left with 50 stocks. We could look at them one by one. Another way is to look for fundamentally strong stocks first. In Q technique, we are looking to buy stocks only if 
they have technical trade setup in the bi direction they are fundamentally strong in some way it may be because of valuation or earnings growth or dividend or a combination of them and we also would like to buy only if the industry is also going up we could look at the technical aspect first we have already scanned we have found 50 out of 1500 stocks we could look to see if they are giving any possible buy setup but i think it will be unlikely because the market is dropping sharply what we can try to do is to create a short list so let me try to find out how many of these stocks are fundamentally strong in some way so i selected the list we have a system q vital that allows us to do fundamental analysis for any stock in any country fundamental npr analysis so what i am going to do is get the list of the stocks from the scan and in dashboard instead of using the root stock i'm going to paste the list manual list you could carry out this exercise on a portfolio of stocks you have to see how many of them are fundamentally strong at present you can see at the top it is connected with thomson reuters so all the data everything is retrieved from thomson reuters by running multiple passes and once all the passes three passes are complete then we will get the fundamental statistics in the stock tab that is the fundamental scorecard you can see right now streaming is off i am going to click the play button now streaming is on it is it has updated the data i can see it has 50 stocks and it has very fast retrieved the data from thomson reuters and our system has calculated the vital statistics these are the stocks this is our vital scorecard in q vital there are multiple panels at the top you can see the header this is the vital panel most of the decisions can be made from the vital panel so we have as we have assembled the critical information in the vital tab if i go to the right we have the performance tab for any column we can double click on the header we can see over 12 months out of these stocks which ones are best performer if we want to see over one month which ones are best performer we can see that all are color coded using heat map if we want to see over five days which ones are best performer we can find that and if i'm running it in market hours then the one day period in real time i can see which ones are going up fastest that is the performance tab if i go to the right we have the earnings growth information one to five years revenue growth one to five years and then earnings growth and revenue growth for the last four quarters again i can look for the stocks that has best earnings growth over last year they are all color coded using heat map i may focus on the best performing earnings growth stocks after the growth information we have some fundamental information we gathered this data based on feedback from many traders fund managers cfos people who do merger acquisition etc to see what are the key essential information they look for we could put a lot of information we decided against that just try to put the essential information some are regarding valuation if you with the pe pbr dividend short interest some based on the company's performance operating margin roe roa some based on the solvency quick ratio current ratio debt to equity and then alpha beta earnings if we go to the right we have some basic information about the stocks including ticker in the usa market usually the ticker symbol is the stock symbol but not so in the countries like hong kong india etc so we have ticker that is different from the stock symbol because vital can be used for global stocks we kept the provision for that 
then some basic information like market cap, closing price, average volume, free float, free float percentage, volume five day over 30 days, and then pressure. Pressure is a calculation that was suggested by a very well-known trader. You all probably know, uh, Mr. Jeffrey Scott, Dr. Jeffrey Scott. He wanted to see which stocks are going up or down with high pressure. And it uses a combination of volume over recent periods volume and price move over recent periods price move. So we can see which stocks are going up by most pressure. The number in itself doesn't mean much, but we can look at the relative size. So we know Nike is going up strongly and going up with very high volume relative to the other stocks. They indicate which stocks are going up with high momentum. We came to this list of stocks from Q Sonar. We call it Sonar, the scans, because in Metastock it is called Explorer, in Trade Station it is called Scan or Radar. We tend to use a generic term Sonar. We ran Sonar, found 50 stocks that are hitting weekly memory support, long term support. We are trying to create a short list of stocks that are fundamentally strong from those 50 stocks. We can look for good valuation. In the valuation column, all we need to do is filter by color. In all Q systems, whether it is the technical, fundamental, or industry rotation analysis, cyan or green indicates strength, magenta red indicates weakness. So we could simply look for valuation in cyan color. These are the stocks that are of interest. So I could copy them now. These are the stocks I may look at in terms of strong valuation. Some people prefer to buy high growth stocks. I can click the refresh button, all the data comes back and now I can look for high growth stocks. Let's say we are looking for stocks that are having high growth in the latest year. We can filter by color green and also the latest quarter filter by color over the latest quarter green. Filter by color green. So we have this stock. Some of them are good value also. We can double click on any column header. So we see several of the stocks of the 50 stocks. In fact, one, two, three, four. They are hitting long term support in the weekly chart. They are having optimal valuation and they are having nice earnings growth over. Now we can see over all the yearly periods as well as recent quarters as well. Let me copy all of them into the shortlist. What about dividend? Let's sort the stocks by dividend column. Let's look for stocks that are having at least, let's say 4% dividend. So we have these four stocks. Mm, up to D, up to D. So I can copy them. This is now the list of stocks that are either optimally valued or having very nice earnings growth or having high dividend. What I can do now, I can remove the PR stocks and do a PR analysis or portfolio analysis or fundamental analysis on these stocks now. And you can see the moment I drop the stocks, it is retrieving data from Thomson Reuters very fast. It has calculated everything. These are our stocks. They are either having very nice valuation or very nice earnings growth or good dividend. We can now see if any of them are looking good on technical charts. Or we could look at the industries. These are the industries. We can see several of them are in hotel, resort, rates. Some of them are in rates. 
some of them are in utilities rates 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 real estate sector that means real estate sector is most prevalent followed by probably utilities now we have two ways we could either look at their technical charts or we could look at the industries if we look at industries probably we'll see they are all down however if we are using q industry rotation scorecard then we are looking for relative strength why don't we look at them let's look at biotech and for looking at industry rotation or sector rotation we are going to use q edge q edge in fact allows us to look at multiple countries and we can transfer the symbols from this top down analysis because it allows us to do sector analysis drill down to best industries then from industry we can actually drill down to fundamentals and then we can open them using technical charts if we use q global then we can open the chart directly from q edge we could do that from q vital also if we are using q elite on trade station then we can transfer the symbols into radar trade station radar let me keep q global for now in the dashboard tab i have kept streaming off because market is closed we don't need to update the data to save bandwidth if i keep streaming on by clicking the play button in real time it will calculate everything when it calculates everything it calculates in memory cache it doesn't alter the view except this graph why we don't alter the view and by view we mean this sector rotation scorecard or the industry rotation scorecard we don't keep on updating the view because as i demonstrated during using q vital stock scorecard we often tend to do sorting filtering deleting etc you can in fact delete rows that you are not interested in we don't want to refresh the data while we are in the middle of something so the view is updated the moment i click the refresh button it gets everything from memory cache which is calculated in real time and it updates my view we can look at the sectors to see which sectors are strongest let's look at the weekly period utilities financials are strongest over one week doesn't mean that they went up these two numbers under five day column header is shows over last five days that is in the previous week all the sectors went down so this is not a market to start looking for buying opportunities what we are trying to do is to look for shortlist stocks let me look at the industries one by one i could start from sector or drill and drill down or i could simply type and filter for biotech biotech is weak how i know it's from the color it's magenta color earlier in fact it was cyan the m1 to m12 indicate score they represent score across this 12 monthly review periods m1 to m12 and then more frequently over 10 days 5 days 2 days 1 day we do it more frequently in recent periods because trading decision is made on current day so we have all these recent periods in real time we can see the one day information and the base columns show acceleration or deceleration in terms of score or acceleration biotech is not looking strong so we may skip biotech what about broadcasting broadcasting is also weakening so we may not be interested in it right now if we are looking to buy a stock we are not going to look for buying broadcasting stocks building products this is looking better than the other two but not good enough 
let's look at hotel and resort rates. I can in fact copy from here and paste here. This is looking much better. I can see a transition from magenta to cyan, not the other way around. And the paste columns are also showing strength. We started with technical scan in Q Global. We could do it in Q Elite also on Trade Station. Then we went to Q Vital, looked for stocks that are fundamentally strong in some way. And now we found that hotel and resort rates. This, in, this industry is stronger than in recent past. So I, in QVital now, filtered for only hotel and resort rate stocks. I can see all of these stocks are having great valuation. Some of them have nice earnings growth in the latest quarter. They pay good dividend also because we selected using multiple criteria, the same stock came twice. What now we can do, we can simply open the charts directly. In the charting, I'm going to use the default weekly daily template. And if I come back to QH, not QH, QVital, I can highlight these rows or these cells in any way. In dashboard, I have to select Q global. If I select Q elite, I can transfer the symbols to radar, but let me open directly in Q global. So I select Q global and click the chart button. This is HT. We started our scan for stocks that are hitting long-term weekly memory support. It has indeed hit long-term weekly memory support. Will it go up from here? We don't know. But if it goes up, we will find a box long trade setup. Remember, we have a sideways market trade setup that can also be applied at double bottom. This is creating a double bottom. And if it goes up, it will create a false downside breakout. That is an even stronger signal to take the long at double bottom. All the trade setups, have checklists. If I go back to the market conditions for sideways market, if I click on the sideways image, then we have the box straight setup and it has checklists for bullish setup in the middle and bearish setup at the right hand side. The checklists are based on the indicators. The indicators, as you see, are color coded, so it is unambiguous. Red is bearish green, cyan, bullish, yellow, neutral. There is no threshold to be checked. There is no convergence, divergence to be checked. We can apply the checklist unambiguously. I will not go through the checklist now. You may look at the checklist. I can see, because I remember the checklist, you will remember it after one week. If it now goes up, gives me a yellow color candle in the daily chart, it may give me a box long trade setup in the daily chart. However, weekly will not meet all the conditions because it has dropped heavily. So box setup may not be applicable. Then we have another trade setup called bounce setup. Bounce setup requires a stock to drop sharply and suddenly hit pre-existing support, which can be either this memory trend line supports or deep watermark support we can see there is a very deep watermark support line here, really deep, and we also have memory support. So if it goes up from here, we will have a bounce long trade setup and also a box setup that meets at least the daily chart conditions. When more and more conditions are met, we are more confident to take the trade. Stop would be just below recent low, and because it is a stock in a downtrend, we are taking a reversal trend. We like to book partial profit, at least the initial profit target at the memory resistance line. We will not expect the stock to go up, break out of memory resistance, change trend. At least partial profit will book quickly. And by that time, you can see more than the risk distance will be covered. That is our technique for entering reversal trades. For trend following trades also, we like to book at least partial profit 
once the risk distance is covered. That is for swing trading. So HT is a stock that can go into our watch list, in, into our short list. It is in an industry that is stronger, at least among the industries we saw so far, better than biotech, better, better than building products. And it is at a long-term support and it has very strong fundamental. Let's look at the other stock. That was CHSP. It has hit memory support, but from the daily chart, we can see there is no immediate trade setup that will be available. I'm applying the checklist in my mind and it is in clear downtrend, so I can apply only the reversal trade setups. I don't have this kind of diamond, so I cannot apply the headwind trade setup. There is no sideways market. There is. If it goes up, it may, it may in fact. Let me correct myself then. There is a watermark support level. There is also a memory support level. So if the stock were to go up, it will give us a very similar trade setup that we found in the last stock, HT. A trade setup that will be a bounce trade setup, stock dropping sharply and suddenly hitting pre-existing support that is in this case both memory as well as deep watermark if it goes up it will give a bounce straight setup that will meet all the checklist conditions and in the daily chart it will meet the requirements for a box sideways or double bottom long trade setup both are reversal trade setups again we will take initial profit once the risk distance is covered all this will be useful only if the stock goes up on a closing basis. We can take the trade just before market close, but it hasn't gone up. So we can add these two stocks in our short list. That is how we could find stocks that we may consider buying after a very sharp drop. And now if these stocks have options and options are liquid enough, then it may be extremely profitable to sell puts or sell put verticals. I Personally, don't like to sell naked puts. Selling put verticals may be extremely profitable if the stock starts to go up. Let's now move to trade station and look at these two stocks and look at their implied volatility percentile. Meta stock is not a brokerage platform. Trade station is a brokerage platform that they have detailed data about options. And we have created multiple templates, just like as in case of Q Global on Metastock. Each template has a specific purpose. The weekly backdrop shows the background against which the stock is playing out. We like to look at the backdrop, especially for trend following trades. For trend reversal trades, we look at the backdrops, but not so much. We can find out how much we look at it based on the checklist conditions. If we wait for the backdrop weekly chart to be bullish, then we cannot find a reversal trade. That will end up being a trend following trade on the daily chart. But exactly when we look at weekly and what we look for is listed in the checklist. Interest station also, we have different templates. We have set up hotkeys. Let me go to the single chart and use the hotkeys to see the option pricing template or option trading template. We can see from the coloring that option volatility is not very high. The green and cyan points are where the option volatility is very high. So it is profitable to sell options. Now, in fact, option volatility is relatively low as a percentile. It is not in a squeeze as well. The squeeze started expanding from one, two, three, four days before. So there is probably no extra advantage of selling put verticals than buying the stock outright. In that case, you may simply buy the stock or as you know, Dr. Jeffrey has a synthetic long strategy that may also be applicable.
that was HT and let's check the option volatility of the other stock that is CHSP. CHSP. Also option volatility not very high. Probably their option volume is also not very high and the beta spread may not be attractive. Not a familiar stock, at least not familiar to me. So we used Q Global to look for stocks that have fallen a lot, hit long-term weekly memory support. Then we found fundamentally strong stocks. Then we checked industry and found at least two stocks. I didn't go through all the stocks, all the stocks. You may find some other stocks to add to shortlist. If you continue the exercise, let me not continue with the other stocks in this analysis. Let me continue with the next analysis because the market is going down. I keep on saying it is much easier to take short trades and profit from that. Market is down very much. So let's look for go with flow. That is our trend following setup. Go with flow short setup in stocks that are already in downtrend. I mentioned we can combine the scans in any way we want. We have the scans for trade setup or the other 30 plus setups that we can combine. Let's look for liquid stocks first, then look for stocks that are already below the slow direction line that is longer term direction and very slow, very long term direction. Closing below both the slow and very slow direction line liquid stocks and we look for go with flow short setup. We have these four scans. I'm going to run it again on the S&P 1500 stocks. And here I'm going to choose, use the results from the preceding exploration again. The interval I'll change to daily. In this way, you can combine the scans into something you have in mind that makes sense. Not looking for indicator values, but some pattern you have in mind. If I go to summary, let me sort them properly. First, I'm going to look for liquid stocks, then below very slow, then below slow, and then looking for the trend following short setup. I'll run them and it will go through the 1500 stocks. It will use the waterfall. The output of first scan will go to second scan. Let it run it. Let me explain the go with flow short setup. In the daily chart, when a stock is falling, like in case of CHSP, when it was falling, having lower high and lower low, we wait for the stock to go up and till down just enough to give a magenta color candle. This color we call flow color. That's why the name go with flow. The magenta color candle is calculated based on price move, volume pattern, etc. Simplifies everything with the color. If a stock is in a downtrend, then recovers, then dips just enough to give a magenta candle. That is our optimal short point. Those are the points selected by Go With Flow short scan. Then what we look for is attractive reward risk ratio. So if we took the shot at this point, our stop would be just above recent high. The exact point is decided by another template we have where we have the Q protection signal. Stop is decided by stocks volatility. I will show that probably. And the target will be for trend following trend, the lower boundary level. So we have attractive reward risk ratio. The risk is less relative to the potential reward. So we would be taking the short trade here. The same signal came here. Both of these signals ended up being profitable because it hit the lower boundary. These conditions and the exact strategy for applying them are mentioned in the checklist. And also if you go to education book, there are detailed books about 100 pages probably with colorful charts explaining all the techniques, indicators, strategies. There are videos and blogs as well. 
the scan is complete we started with 1500 stocks and we can see we ended up with 97 stocks that is also quite a lot what we could do we could look at them using technical charts or like we did earlier we could look for fundamentally weak stocks if you want to look for the technical charts i i am just i can simply go to chart make sure our weekly daily standard template is selected just double click on any stock i'm moving the scan result to another monitor this has given a magenta color candle some people are okay to take the shot even if it is below lower boundary level i don't prefer that i am active trader and all the q traders are active trader what is active trader person may be having full-time job but able to trade two to three trades per week that gives very attractive annual return with relatively low success rate so if i look back i can see on this day i had the optimal short setup the stock was falling down i had a magenta color candle which is bearish in shape i could short here and try to book profit initial profit at the lower boundary but i will personally not short here some people who are momentum traders can continue to short here when i shorted at this candle my stop would be just above recent high if i am shorting at this candle then my stop cannot be above recent high which could be here that is too far we would then use the q protection signal that is also used for trailing stop to decide the initial stop let's switch to the hop off template which is the q protection signal the cyan dots are stops for short position so if i am taking a short based on today's candle not my style but if a momentum player is taking short on this candle instead of placing stop above recent high the stop may be placed placed using the q protection signal and you can see the risk could be much lower these protection signals are calculated based on stocks volatility they keep you in the trade and safe distance away from the stock so that you are not whips on if i cleared the chart i mentioned our last optimal short position was here and you can see since then the protection signal is keeping us in the trade initial profit could be booked always we book that with discipline for swing trading and you can see the protection signal has allowed us to continue to hold partial position and let profit run our entry price was here current protection stop is here profit protect stop and we are already beyond break even if you are entering today you may use the protection signal to put stop here because this is not the optimal short point for trend following trade that is our in our technique the go with flow trade setup i could keep on clicking the other stocks and you see because the market has dropped heavily it will not be easy to find a stock that is at an optimal short point i think i have also saved this list earlier let's go through them how many 97 that's quite a lot okay i'm not going through go through 90 seven stocks instead what i am going to do is again look for stocks that are fundamentally weak in some way of course in real trading it doesn't take time to go through 97 stocks each stock takes few seconds but for this exercise let's again go to our notes copy the result here get the stock list i want to delete i want to find the stocks from this list and now i look for fundamentally weak stocks in some way either 
growth is slowing down or overvalued and you see the moment i place the stocks it calculates everything in real time q systems technical analysis fundamental analysis peer analysis industry sector rotation analysis everything is in real time let's look at the stocks now i'm going to do the reverse exercise among these stocks i'm going to look for overvalued stocks that is filter by color magenta i have this list okay i can in fact start putting them directly here let me pause it so that it doesn't calculate okay these are the overvalued stocks i can refresh and because i paused it because i changed the symbol list okay a mistake because i changed the symbol list so i cannot <laughs> overwrite the list while i'm working on a view uh, no issue i calculate it again look for overvalued stocks these are the stocks keep them handy refresh look for stocks with negative earnings growth in the latest quarter these are the stocks i think we can live with this list i'm going to now see which industry they belong to so we started with 1500 stocks ended with 97 that are in downtrend and giving possible short setup then we wanted to look at stocks that are fundamentally weak in some way did it calculate mm. okay i pasted there I can paste anywhere. I don't want to scroll down every time. Okay, it is recalculating. Every time I change anything, it recalculates everything. You can see they are either overvalued or they have negative earnings growth. And they are in downtrend and they are giving possible short signal. Now let's look at their industries. Apparel, retail, automobile, some even utilities utilities had been strong so they may give us very attractive short opportunities if the industry starts to go down how is gas utilities now let's look at qh okay it is strong that's why we are not going to short it if you are doing a 360 degree strain you are not going to probably short it unless the utilities industry gas utilities industry is weak but if it is so then you may find an attractive shot here let me look at the stock now i don't have to go to the symbol i can put my cursor anywhere or select anywhere and click the chart of course in chart i have to make sure that i have chart selected okay I can click the chart. <laughs> I have chart selected. Okay. Oh, oh. What am I doing? Vital gas utilities SRI. Okay, it is open, not open. Sometimes the inter-process communication doesn't work, no issue. SRI, I can open it from here. Maybe I'm doing something wrong during the present. Okay, okay, Metastock is not working. Sometimes because of memory issue, etc. Metastock or registration may crash, so Metastock is not working. That's why I was not able to open. Let me open it in registration. Always good to have two charting platforms. SRI. Did I choose the right stock? Or SII. What I can do? I can change. Oh, because it is QLE. 
Okay. Let me change to Q global again. SRI. Yes, it's open. But it is not showing me because of insufficient resources. Okay. I'm not sure the symbol is. I can just copy it. Paste it. SJI. You can see. This is in clear downtrend. Again, it is too oversold. The optimal short opportunity was here or here. If we had taken the shot on this magenta candle, then our stop would be above this recent high. If we use this magenta candle, our stop would be here. Both of those trades has hit profit target. Now for my style, it is too oversold. But if you are using the Friday's candle to short, as some people may do, you may use the Q protection signal to put stop, which would be somewhere here, not above recent high. Usually we try to keep it to one hour. I'm not going to discuss the possible bounce trade setup. What we did on Q Global, looking for stocks hitting memory trend line on weekly chart, we could also look for bounce trade setup, either in Q Global or in Trade Station. Maybe I have run something already, the scan, long bounce. If the market bounces, then let's look at KMB. These are the scans in trade station and we have the radar also. In radar, we could look for bounce from this column. Red color means these are all possible short bounces. From the scan, I ran it on S&P 500 stocks. I found KMB. Let's look at KMB. You can see it has given me a bounce candidate because it is hitting memory support and going up. However, this is not a sharp and sudden drop. So I'm not able to take it as a bounce setup. I can see the stock is in an uptrend with higher low, higher high. And now it has given me a cyan colored candle. In fact, that is a possible trend following long trade setup. In a uptrending stock, we like the stock to till down and then go up just enough to give me a cyan flow color candle. The weekly is cyan that is meeting the checklist condition. One condition that is not meeting is the candle has upper tail. Because of that, we would not enter the long on Friday's close. Today, we may switch to the fine tune chart. And we can use hotkey here to change to the fine tune chart. The early range high and low levels will again be formed. If it is going above early range high, then we may buy it provided the industry is strong. How is the industry? It is KMB. So we can look at KMB's fundamentals. And now you will see I am starting with a root stock. KMB. If I can type KMB. The moment I type the root stock, it will do three passes. First, it is going to retrieve some basic information about the root stock. And it has found that. It makes money, earnings is positive, pays a dividend and some other basic information. Volume in recent periods is going up. Big enough company, we know that. And it has found a number of PR stocks in the second step. In the third step, it has calculated the vital scorecard and we can look at the stocks. Instantly from the color coding, we know it is neither the strongest fundamental stocks. We don't see any cyan or green color, only dividend is in the middle, in terms of valuation growth, it is in the middle. So it doesn't stop us to buy. It just gives us information. It is not the best value stocks or best growth stocks. Of course, in KMB household products, we don't expect it to be a high growth stock. Let's look at its chart we have already looked at. What about its industry, household products? Let's look at it from QH. It is strong. So the industry is strong. We found a stock. Fundamentals are in the middle. The stock is in an uptrend. And it has given a trend following long trade setup. So we are able to find a trend following long trade setup. Will I buy it? No. Will I suggest buying it? No. Because we have a memory resistance very close to current price in the weekly chart. Under those circumstances, we wait either for price to come down and then go up again or break above 
till down and go up again we are not going to risk money when price is so close to a memory resistance in this case weekly if it was near daily weekly res memory resistance we would apply the same theory let's look at the futures now at es that is the s p 500 futures clearly bearish today's candle that is the last candle overnight market is also bearish it's tried tried to go up but went down it has a lower tail it's too early to say where it will go but so far it is not bullish nasdaq i always say all wait for the actual trade setup we are not in a hurry to buy nq also bearish there is no signal at all that it is bullish including today's candle ym dow jones industrial average bearish again has lower and upper tail both indecisive we'll see how it goes and russell 2000 this has been the weakest one also no signal has both upper and lower tail if you look at the percentages the futures have already dropped by between 0.3 to 0.4 percentages there is no bullish sign whatsoever we don't have to look at other people's view whether market will shoot up or not anything can happen but the actual trade has to be taken based on what we see and there is no bullish signal at present that is all that i plan to share in today's session we try to keep it about one hour so people can get ready for the market Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.